Okay, so there's a lot of people out there that are going to tell you that console gaming is crummy, it has low frame rate, poor graphics, and they're just not worth playing. Blah, 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 blah. Forget them. I've got a 360. Old, outdated, obsolete, but affordable. It's got 512 megs of shared RAM, an old Xenon processor, and ATI GPU. But, I want to tell you something. Little known to the world, it's upgradable. So let's step through a 360 upgrade. First thing I'm going to have you do is take apart your Xbox. You might need some help from a buddy, take it if you need it. Once you've got that done, here we can take a look at the inside of the 360. This is where the GPU and CPU sit. Today we'll be replacing it with this old Pentium D processor. Because honestly, anything is faster than what's soldered down on that board. Anyway, we won't take the motherboard out just yet. Actually. It's easier if you mount the new components to a separate motherboard in order to simplify what you're doing. But don't worry, we're only replacing essential components. And by replacing the motherboard, we make it easier to upgrade other components, such as this video card. Don't worry, you might say, oh, that has no heatsink. Well, we're going to underclock it. And it should still outperform that old 360 GPU. Oh, yeah, and we definitely need to upgrade some RAM, so let's put that in there. And there goes the new hard drive. No need for proprietary hookups. Just plop on the heatsink and we're just about done. It seems like I misjudged the size of the new components. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, but no worries, we can figure something out. Just hold on for a second. Okay, so I decided that we could just put everything into this old case I had laying around. It's all good, right? Like Lincoln's Axe. Piece by piece change, but still 360. I gotta say, games are looking pretty good. And just to let you know, I did have to install Steam, which did require a Windows install. And due to all the component mismatch, it likely won't play most, if any, Xbox games. But, despite these new limitations, it still beats being some smug elite PC gamer.